dear students how are you welcome to today's class today we have to start a new chapter the chapter name is the essence of change a new chapter is the essence of change which means maatathinte porul are you ready for that then let's start our new chapter first of all what if you look at this picture what if you carefully look at this picture which are the things we can observe in this picture we can see two boys are playing football there and a vehicle is going there by announcing something through a loud speaker and a tractor is plowing the field and a man is plowing the field then you can see many electric posts are there to distribute the electricity everywhere and a motor is pumping water from a pond so there are many activities are take place in this picture then let me ask some questions to you what we were using in olden times to get light in olden times we were not having electricity at that time can you say what we were using at that time to get light at that time we were using kerosene lamps or candles to get light then to get water from a well we were drawing water from the well nowadays we are using electric motor to pump water from the well and from the pond etc then in olden times when you want to go a place our elders were walking from a place to another place then now we want to go to a place if it is a farther place we will use a vehicle isn't it so we can understand that there are many difference between olden times and the present time there are many changes our world is always change every day our world is change isn't it then in this picture you can see that two boys are playing football so let me ask you a question what we need to play football or to study well and to do many activities so for doing every activities we need energy isn't it so for doing a work everybody needs energy from where we are getting energy from the food we are having isn't it from where we are getting our food from the plants how the plants are getting food that we already said is that plants are preparing their food by themselves by the process of photosynthesis then how the plants are getting the energy to do the process of photosynthesis from the sun then for running a vehicle it needs fuel isn't it then to work a fan we need electricity so we can understand that for doing a work everything needs energy we are getting energy for doing different activities from our food then electronic devices are getting the energy from the electricity so for doing a work everything needs energy then there are many types of energy around us can you give some examples for different types of energy there are light energy wind energy heat energy electricity and sound energy etc so there are different types of energy and we are using different types of energy for doing different works different devices are using different types of energy then let's talk about electric bulb when we are switching on the electric bulb what we will get for what purpose we are using electric bulb to get light then when we are switching on the electric bulb we will get light 
when if we are touching the working electric bulb after some time what we can feel the we can understand that that electric bulb is hot what type of energy the electric bulb is using to work the electric bulb is using electricity to work and when we are switching on an electric bulb we will get light energy and a part of energy is changing into heat energy that's why we can feel that that bulb is hot when we are touching a working electric bulb then let's talk about another situation when we are burning a candle which are the energies producing by that candle when we are burning a candle we will get light energy and if we are touching that fire we can feel that is hot so a candle is changing its energy into light energy and heat energy isn't it then when we are bursting a cracker which are the energies producing by that crackers when the crackers are bursting we will get we can hear a big sound isn't it then fire will be there so when a cracker is bursting it produces sound energy and light energy then a small portion is changing into heat energy also isn't it so we can understand that energy is changing from a form to another there are different forms of energy around us such as electricity wind energy light energy heat energy sound energy etc vehicles are using fuel energy electronic devices are using electricity and wind mill is using wind energy and when a device is working for example a bulb is working the electricity is changing into light energy and heat energy likewise there are different types of energy changes around us when we are burning on firewood we are burning the firewood to get heat for cooking food isn't it so when we are burning a firewood it produces heat energy then light energy also but at that time we are using that heat only even though the firewood is changing the energy into heat energy and light energy so we can understand that there are many types of energy changes around us so analyzing all these things we can say that energy can be changed from one form to another and there are many types of energy around us we are using different forms of energy in our day to day life for different purposes then we have to study about the energy changes in various situations that we can discuss on the next class so that's all for today thank you